Hey everyone, Michael here and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to talk about the five pillars of e-commerce. Now, it doesn't matter if you're doing job shipping or print on demand, you still need to start thinking about how you can implement these pillars into your business if you want to build a successful e-commerce business. These five pillars have literally helped me generate millions of dollars online and I want to show you right inside this video. But if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also click on that notification bell to join my notification squad. Without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here's the five pillars of e-commerce. Pillar number one is branding. Now your brand plays a huge role in the long-term sustainability of your business. A lot of people just think branding as just a logo and logo is important, don't get me wrong, because it does bring a sense of credibility when you have a good brand and logo, but when it comes to branding, it's more to it than that. It comes down to your brand personality. It also comes down to the color theme that you're using on your store, your quality of your product, your shipping time, your customer service, and as well as your mission statement, what you stand for, or how you set yourself apart from your competition. That all comes down to branding. And when you have a strong brand, people will actually come back to you more and more, and that is called brand preference. All the biggest brand focus on branding. Why? Because they know the importance of building a solid foundation. And also when you have a strong brand, people recognize that and it will come back more often, especially if you have a good product and quality of the product that will get people to come back. All right. So that is pillar number one. And a lot of people don't focus enough on branding. Pillar number two is your suppliers. Now your suppliers can make or break you just because they are your counterpart. If you make a sale and your suppliers cannot ship out the product, you're in big trouble. So make sure you know who you're working with. And I do have a video on uh, the top suppliers that I use myself. But supplier is something that you need to vet and actually get to know because you need to know the process of if they can help you in certain returns or certain requests your customers are having. So definitely contact your suppliers and get to know them and know who you're working with because when you start selling in volume, you need to make sure they can actually provide the product. So that's pillar number two. Pillar number three is traffic. Now traffic, there is many different ways to get traffic to your store. Facebook is one that we always talk about. There's also Google, there's also Snapchat, there's native ads, there's also organic traffic. So there's many different ways to get uh, visitors to your store, but you have to master one before you actually branch out, right? Even organic um, traffic, meaning you don't have to pay for the traffic, you can start posting on Instagram as well or work on search engine optimization. So there's many different ways to get visitors to your store. But once you get visitor to your store is pillar number four, which is conversions. How can you increase the conversion rate of those customers going to your store? And an increase on 1% of add to cart to purchase, that is a significant increase as well. So when you work on your store, make sure you know where's the drop off of those customers so you can increase and fix wherever the leakage of the funnel is. And also how you can increase the average order value of each customer that comes to your store. And I talk a lot about funnels because having funnels actually increase the average order value uh, significantly, which you can reinvest back into your ads. And when you can have more to spend on ads, you can either outbid your competition or also drive higher quality uh, traffic to your store. So always think about ways on how you can increase the conversion and also increase the AOV of that customer. And pillar number five is operations. Now operations is actually something that people don't normally think about, but it's actually one of the most important key elements to scale and build a more successful business. Just because when you grow your team, you can't manage everything yourself. That's why you have to start hiring and dedicating the right task to the right people. And having your own SOP uh, standard operating platform is very important because when you start hiring, you need to let the people know exactly what they need to do. So for me, I have a membership area with videos and trainings I actually give to my VA. So when I hire them and expand my team, I don't have to keep re-going through the training and training these VAs over and over again. So think about how you can duplicate yourself without keep needing to do the same thing over and over again. And also train your VAs on different tasks like research, um, design research, 
also customer service and also product upload, even mockups, they can all do this type of tasks. Uh, for me, basically my VA does everything. I only manage the ads, but down the road, I might even outsource that as well. But I need to actually run the ad so I can know exactly what's going on so I can actually uh, educate my students and tell them what is the latest updates coming. So that is the five pillars of e-commerce. I hope you like this video and I hope you start implementing this into your business as well because this is very important if you want to build a long-term sustainable business and every business need these five pillars. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know. Also give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I might go into deeper into each of these uh, pillars down the road. So definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. With that, I'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.